Hi, how are you guys doing? And welcome back to Mask of Deception with me, your girl, No Fuses. So let's just go on and get into it because we just met some new characters and now we're at a drinking party. Let the good time start. Hey man, where are we, where are we all out over here? Could you get three more bottles? The inn's tavern's like dining hall is a lot livelier than it was yesterday. They're quite a spirited bunch, huh? So it seems. I can't say I mind the atmosphere though. Kuon pours herself a cup of sake, looking faintly logistic. It's hard to tell. So, Haku, I've been thinking about moving on from here to the Imperial Capital. What do you think? The Imperial Capital? Hmm, the only jobs we're likely to find for you here are all manual labor, which you aren't fit for. Suffice it to say, I don't think someone as weak as you will survive out here for very long. <clears throat> You're a lost cause in Braun, but I think you have the brains to make up for it. The Imperial Capital would, would be just a place to find the work for someone with your skills. Are you really doing all this just for my sake? Don't worry about it. I was planning on making for the capital sooner or later anyway. If you say so, I didn't even know this place had a capital. Well, Yamato is made up of a lot of promises, so there are actually a few capitals. I'm not surprised it's hard for you to picture since all you've seen is this one little village. Yamato, huh? I can't put my finger on why, but the name does sound familiar. At any rate, my point is this. If we go to a proper city, it might as well be a big one, the Imperial Capital. It's the seat of power for Mikado, Yamato's divine ruler. It's really... Eh? What's this? You kids playing on heading for the capital? One of the men at the next table suddenly turns around to address us. It's the guy from earlier. Eh, sorry to interrupt. Couldn't help overhear you two talking about my old stomping grounds. You're from the Imperial Capital, sir? Yeah, I'm out on a little errand right now, though. But hey, I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Ukon, leader of, the, of this company. My name's Kion. This is, I suppose you can call him Haku. Haku, we've been traveling together for a bit. Kion promised me and I keep my introduction simple. Kion and Haku, eh? Must be fate that we're all in this inn together. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Master Ukon, to whom dost thou speak? Oh, tis my lady once again. Drunk already, Marmaru? I don't mind you getting sauced, but keep your nose out of trouble, eh? What? First Master Ukon, I am but a picture <laughs> of stone sober cheese. Ha, sorry Marmaru, but you're not fooling anyone. You're as much as a lightweight as ever. Bah! Mine is Shokia, mine, the Makoto himself. Don't you recollect? It is Lugalish, a scholar I am, lest thou forget. <coughs> I tried to hold in my laughter as my row appears, but it's no use. I really should be prepared by now, but I can't help it. This guy is just too damn funny. Amazing. Huh? If, if the Makoto point of, that means he passed the Harry Imperial exam. I don't get it. He passed a test. A really hard one? Hard enough that only one person every few years does well enough to earn the Imperial Scholar rank. Oh, thy wish to warm the very cocklish of my heart. Oh, go on, sweet paragon of earthly beauty. If his rank is so lofty and impressive, then what is he doing away in the boonies? Oh, Master Ukon himself. Skid it, my age, sure. With five score hands and swords and more. What Maru was trying to say is, is I brought him along because he's a spell slinger. A damn good one too. It seems like you've placed your confidence in him. I suppose one can expect as much from a scholar. Oh, for sure such station coming from eyelishiness. Oh, 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 oh. Maru begins to laugh with pride, but ultimately hangs his head and sighs deeply. For Shmarmo is not but a foul sham, a worthless fraud of an even to draw breath. 
He begins to mutter and mumble something, takes an enormous drop from his cup. Huh? Why is he depressed all of a sudden? <sighs> this again, Mamoru has some problems. Best if we leave him alone for now. He'll come around. So bizarre for an Imperial scholar to accompany an armed group so far outside the walls. What exactly? <clears throat> Never mind. Please forget I said anything, sir. If you say so, it's not really anything we've got to keep deadly secret, you know. So you two from overseas? I haven't seen clothes like that over here before. Yes, sir, you could say I'm a tourist. I'm just here for sightseeing, really. Yeah? You don't like- you don't look like a traveling merchant type. Tourist, eh? Wish I had time to sightsee. Yamato is a peaceful empire, but it can be dangerous for a normal la lady like yourself. Especially with only one bodyguard. You've got some serious guts, I'll give you that, Missy. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm afraid you're mistaken. I am no noble, sir. Eh? Oh, you were keeping it a secret? I should be the one apologizing then. Ooh, he's, he's kind of like, are you keeping it a secret? He's like, you're obviously a noble lady. And he, she's like, no, I'm not. And he's like, yeah, you are. Like, you can't fool me. <laughs> a secret? What makes you say that? Uh, come on now. You talk and act like us common for sure. But anyone with eyes can see you've got blue blood and education to match, too. I bet you're from some high family, maybe a minor princess. Am I close? A princess? You flatter me. Or are you trying to win me over now, too? Ha! Of course not. Just thinking out loud, I do that. She's like, stop digging. <laughs> and he's just like, I'm on to you. Well then, I'll gladly take the compliment, sir. I suppose it's a lot like how you're not just an ordinary cell sword, right? And he's like, hmm, alright, we're playing this game now. <laughs> That's literally what his face says. <laughs> Why do I feel so uncomfortable right now? <laughs> hey, unable to bear the uncomfortable tension between Ukon and Kuon any longer, I begin to speak up when... Ma'am, we've got trouble! The doors in the dining hall fly open, admitting a pan looking man. The talk in the hall dies quickly as you stumble in, and soon it's as quiet as the grave. Why are you up in such a bluster about? We've got guests from out of town, mind here. That's not important right now. Ma'am, please! The man runs up to the incurvent and leaves into her ear, whispering. At first, the incurvent had been smiling patiently, but she pales as he speaks, expression hard. They both seem pretty upset. Did something go wrong? Kuo and Ukon have both gone dead silent, fixated on the innkeeper and the newcomer. Oh, what should we do? We don't have any ap apothecary in town right now. Hey, miss, is something the matter? Tell me what's up, and I might be able to help. What's going on? Ugh, ugh, this... A man rises on the floor, his skin bloated and purplish in splotches, groaning in pain. Another man struggles nearby, but doesn't seem to be as bad as condition, only his arm is purple. Yeah, he's not in bad condition, but his entire arm is freaking purple. So you were attacked by a group of Gigiri on the trail. Yeah, the same road as all we always take. A swarm of them just appeared. This guy tried to save the Uptor that was being attacked, and they turned on him, and now, well, I, I, I couldn't do anything, and more than that. Hey, if you hadn't run, they wouldn't have been able to find him and bring him here in time. Don't guilt yourself. If anything, praise yourself for making it back in one piece. Yeah, because those things are vicious! Hey, uh, Cohen, what's a Giri Giri? It's a carnivorous insect with a segmented body. Lots of legs, hard campers, big scissor-like jaws. Yeah, the thing you ran into when you first woke up. The thing that literally chased you all the way down to an underground cabin just to be eaten by a giant slime. That thing. But while they might bite, I've never heard of them attacking people. I'm provoked. 
So they don't just come out the woodwork like they did me and just start slicing and dicing? They they usually just leave you alone? I don't know, maybe because they smell new meat. Or, oh, I swear, if it's, if it's the same- no, no, it can't be because it got eaten. Unless it's its family and it's like, REVENGE! REVENGE! A big insight with a hard compress and enormous jaws? Yeah, that thing. Could it be? What's wrong? I was probably also attacked by one of those. You? But I didn't see a gear gear where I found you. All right, we couldn't save me. The Tateri had already absorbed it. I was attacked by one of those gear gear things before you came to my rescue. I almost bit it, but the Tateri swallowed it and saved me in the nick of time. Are you talking about the same one that was about to swallow you? <laughs> That's just like you, stumbling out of a frying pan into the fire. You're either really unlucky or just lucky. Wait, why is that like me? Huh? What's with that look? I mean, you're lucky in that you weren't bitten. You're gay or highly vis- Oh! So, so they're venomous. Well, it looked like it was about to, like, eat me. It didn't look like it was, uh, like, about to, like, lay here, let me give me a little bite. And, like, make you turn purple and, like, slowly kick. It looked like it was about to eat me. Just slice me up. And then dip me in sauce. <laughs> That's not what I... Wait, Venomous? Venom? Are these guys gonna be alright? They're probably pulled through. The venom isn't that potent, and Highlanders like them tend to have a solid constitution. It's only the type that paralyzes the infected host anyway, so they're not in mortal danger. That's good, at least. So yeah, you were definitely lucky. You wouldn't have been able to escape if you'd been paralyzed. I'm pretty sure it would have split me in two before the venom could have had any effect. Why aren't these guys being treated, though? You shouldn't just leave patients like that. It may not be life-threatening, but I can't imagine being bitten like that isn't painful. Without a doubt, the swollen purplish flesh around their wounds looks extremely painful. They soaked up the venom. Looks like they, their medicine ran out. The incubator's lady is making more. I see. It's a rotten situation. The townsfolk say the attacks are so frequent, their stock is depleting. Seems they had a stroke of luck and got the ingredients for a new batch just the other day. I was going to get advice from the big brain of Marus, but he's gone and drunk himself out cold. Huh? <laughs> Why? We even burned incense repelling incense and they still came sworn. Hmm. Man, you brought your incense repellent and they still came and bit you? Man. I heard there have been more injuries from these attacks, but geez, entire swarms? Is it that bad? They, they've been happening more and more for the last half year or so, but they've never attacked in swarms like they did today. I've never heard of a Gary Gary attacking people at all, let alone organized groups. Maybe some kind of outbreak? Could be a real pain in the ass if we just leave them alone. Ugh. <laughs> It said cough cough and I did like some weird like gagging sound. That that was so that was so off. But moving on. <laughs> hey, hang in there, alright? Is that damn medicine ready yet? Can't you do anything, Kuan? My medicines are more general purpose. If there's any specific anti venom, it'll be much better. And treating the swelling will dispel the pain, not immediately anyway. <clears throat> But it looks like I have no choice. I didn't want to use this, but... Murmuring that too, Sir Kuhn pulls out a pair of small round pills from her medicine pouch. Now put this in your mouth, but don't swallow, okay? Just let... Th oh, oh, man. Dissolve slowly. Well, what is... It's an energetic. It'll relieve your pain if you suck on it. So thank you. If you had something like that up your sleeve, why didn't you just bust out from the beginning? It's for emergencies only. Just to warn you, it's not the greatest tasting stuff. The wounded man regards the pill with Trinity at that, but Bowie throws it into his mouth. Did you hear what I said? 
Quinn brings the second pill to the man lying down, pointing out to him. Uh, meh. Despite his pain, he seems to be conscious of his surroundings, for he also takes the pill obediently. There. Those should help you feel better. You'll get some dizziness, but at least it's not pain. Tense moments pass, and after a while, the men's faces lapse into peacefulness, just as Kuan said. Their expressions, only just now wrapped with pain, have softened significantly. Effective stuff. Cha! Huh? Within moments of me laying out a sigh of relief, the wounded man bolts upright, grinning widely. <laughs> Whoa, what the? Well, what's going on? What's happening? He laughs, head swirling wildly, then falls to the ground as if something inside him has snapped. <laughs> the man already lying down begins drooling from his wide, doopy, uh, doopy smile. Then he leaps to his feet and begins to dance listlessly. Oh! Mm -hmm. This isn't normal, right? This could be a serious trouble. Oh, it's alright. The engine concentration is pretty strong, so it's just affecting them a bit. This is a bit? Who can I share a look? Suddenly, we each confirm the other's thoughts. This is nowhere near a bit. Isn't it, uh, maybe working a little too well? Hmm? Like I said, it's for emergencies, so its effects are supposed to be powerful. It was originally formulated to help grievously wounded soldiers fight through the pain about ah. It has some addictive qualities too, but it's okay as long as it's not used frequently. Besides, look at them. Their pain is the last thing on their minds. Kuan indicates the frantically dancing man and smiles. I suppose. Kuan's medicines are really scary stuff. Sleepy. Hmm? Big yawn there. Since our plans were to leave for the capital at dawn, I woke up before the sun even rose. Hmm. Ah. But man, I am liable to fall asleep right there at the table. I didn't rest at all after that commotion. We're gonna have to walk for a few days, Haku. You should eat up, and if you or you'll tire out on the road. No. Kuan, of course, makes short work of the mountain of food before her, no match for her appetite. Even so, I just got up. I don't have much of an appetite myself yet. Hey, you kids are awfully early. As I replied to Kuan, the man who called himself Ukon approaches us. Good morning, you're up early too. Did something happen? Oh, it's something major. The village chief didn't hire us to hunt down the swarm of Jijiri. If we leave them like they are, we'll just attack folks again. The chief wants something done. He said he'll concentrate his failure for the work, so he'll accept serpents being what they are. The others ought to be waking up soon. Hunt down that? Hey, can I ask you something? Hmm. You said hunt down. You really plan on going up against a monster like that? Huh? Well, yeah, that's the plan. Not sure what you mean. Isn't it dangerous, even for a company like yours, face up with a creature like that? Not at all. I mean, sure, there's some danger since they're venomous. There's a bunch of them, but... They're not a big threat once you isolate them, and my men are skilled fighters. It's trivial work, really. No sweat. Well, what? Did he just say that thing trivial? Just one let him know a whole horde is. Uh, Haku, I don't know how to tell you this, but any reasonable strong person can probably kill one. What? I mean, I'm sorry? T take down that monster? What sort of people are you guys? The fact remains, their venom is a legitimate threat, and the sudden nature of the job means we're under-prepared. Ukun sits and leans forward on one elbow. With that said, I'm impressed by your absolute chops. What would you say to joining up with us? Ukun absolute skills. I'll pay you triple what the grunts make. How about it? Sound fair to you? Ukun chews her bite of anemone slowly, mulling over the offer. 
If that's the case, yes, let's cooperate. So you'll accept even if Ukon wears her skill, that doesn't mean Kuon. No, she'll probably be alright. I can't really imagine her falling behind. Constitution isn't isn't exactly something I can imitate, though. Hold on. Did you say us? Is something wrong with that? Don't you is something wrong wrong me? Are you trying to get me killed? I don't stand a chance against a monster like that. I'll be alright. Even you should be able to manage if you get attacked. No, no way, nope, not happening. That's my condition for accepting. You have to bring Haku along. Would you listen to me for just a second? The kid, huh, too? Are you sure? He doesn't seem too wild about the idea. He can come, but just because you're with us doesn't guarantee you his safety. Understand? He's gotta pull his own weight. Hmm, I don't mind that. Mind it, would you? Because I die if you don't! Haku, it's probably safe to say the amnesia means you don't really know the dangers of the world, and it's also probably fair to say you haven't done a whole lot of strangers activities so far. If you go on like you have been, you really might lose your life in a future dangerous situation. I'd rather you experience the training stuff that's manageable now to prepare you. If you absolutely won't go, I won't force you. Ew. Won't pressure me? It's, it's not like I have a choice, but she says it like that. So will it be? Alright, alright, I'll go with you. Good, then that's that. Cohen seems strangely cheerful. She's enjoying this, isn't she? As we forge deeper into the light from the sun, the overhead dims filtered by dense canopy growth. One of the men Kuhn had treated the night before walks to the head of the company leading the way. He still has his wounded arm in a sling, but he seems to have recovered enough to walk. Ukon walks right behind him, whistling to himself cheerfully. Several villagers armed with farm tools follow after them, joined by Ukon's more properly equipped men. The whole assembly group chests idly as we push on, hardly anyone showing even a hint of fatigue. <laughs> Meanwhile... Ugh. Where do these people get their energy? Kuan's even been stopping to gather herbs and fruit. Keeping an eye out for ingredients for her medicine on top of hiking doesn't seem to phase her at all. Meanwhile, my feet feel like they're about to fall off. I'm going to collapse if this keeps up. You alright, kid? You're breathing awfully hard. And it would be after all the walking this way. Really? This is nothing. Hey, kid. That Q is going to be disappointed with you if you talk like that. That's right, a real man sucks it up and goes for broke. <laughs> Shoot your shot. <laughs> I can't even work the energy for a comeback as the members of the hunting party tease me. Well, this place is practically a backyard for folks who live here. You're probably just not used to it. Guess it can't be helped. Go hit your ride on the back of the cart. Can't be collapsing on us. He's trying to be subtle about looking out for me, but honestly, I don't care about my dignity right now. Thanks, I'll do that. I hop in the cart without hesitation. What is that? What the? As I climb into the cart, my foot pressed into something gross feeling. Well, what did I just step on? I look down to find Maru pale in the face in a miserable heap. He looks so sickly, I can even tell through his thick makeup he's not holding up very well. Mamar? Hey, what's wrong? I hurriedly pull him upright. He's experiencing a hangover. <laughs> and he's dead inside. <laughs> Are you okay? What happened? Oh, alack. Oh, by every gut, my stomach. How it yearns for shatter, it fetters. Oh, oh, oh. I let go of him promptly. Yeah! Well, uh, I can finally rest. <laughs> Dang! What ill consideration to so briskly release me. Moro, tis a man besieged. So saith, uh, uh, ye gods. But how these backward trails do chaff the spirit to vex the bowels. Pity this poor soul. This is why I told you to go easy on the booze. If you feel better, if you walk instead of road, you know. Ukon's tone is 
is expirated to say the least. Mayhaps friend Ukon may have but to debase mine even self so ignobly. Unthinkable tis oh for the love of is this your damn nobleman thing again? Just so, no man of the highest birth shall fall so low as to walk upon the dirt like a vanguard baseball. It it matters uh, matters that because even fallen from grace, we mustn't forget our uh. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say nobody really thinks you're all that graceful right now. To sully my very name with such vulgar behavior. Perish the uh, uh. Uh, he threw up. Sorry, Kay, but could you take care of him? What? Take care of this? How am I supposed to? As long as you're taking it easy in the cart, the least you could do is look after the poor guy, right? Ugh. With that, Uka moves over to the front of the company again, leaving Mara in my hands. Bruh. Ugh. <laughs> I thought I'd finally be able to relax, but now, if I abandon Mara to his fate, everyone will, will see me as heartless, no doubt. Frankly, I sit down behind the hunk of a marmara and rub his back. Alright, so this comes to this, just get it all out of your system, do what you gotta do. I think the div- uh, Why me? He looks terrible. Here, Haku, give him this. Kuan approaches with pills in one hand and a flask in the other. This one is for hangovers, and this one is for motion sickness, and there's water in the flask. Thanks, you gonna stay in hope? Kuan smiles and steps shortly away without answering because she's like, hell no. <laughs> oh, I don't want the flask back. I, I mean, um, you can hold on. <laughs> she doesn't want it back. She's like, um, this she's like, this gross ass <laughs> man is is putting his vomit lips on my flask. I don't want that shit. That is basically what she's saying right now. That is so funny. I should have figured. I glanced around for help, but everyone looks away at you to sit there. I was like, nope. <laughs> uh, ma Master Haku, was it? Truly, thou art a uh, man of gr great kindness and unto. Uh, tightly clasped my hands, tears in his eyes. You, uh, you don't have to thank me, just point your mouth the other way, please. Pray this way with thy humility, O oh, Master Haku, near deep enough shall my gr uh, gratitude. That's nice, but will you listen to what I'm saying? Without thought unto thyself, thus thou stoop to aid poor murmur. Truly thou art a bosom fr What did you deserve this? How did it come to this? A groan at the absurdity of the world, brought by the rumbling of the cart. It was around here, right? Yeah, yeah, no doubt about it. The injured man's voice trembles. Visions of yesterday's encounter no doubt returning to his mind. From the look of things, there don't seem to be any Gregory nearby. Alright, everyone take a breather while we hash out a strategy. At Ukon's command, the, his men break rank to take a rest, sitting down and drinking from their flasks. Murmur, I'll leave the briefing to you. Ooh. Despite Ukon's prompting, Muru remains face down on the ground, flat on his belly and groaning. Good grief, alright, I'll do it. This really isn't my strong suit, you know. Ukon sighs and steps up beside a large folded net in the bed of the cart, patting it pointedly. Alright, before anything else, we're gonna lay out this net, and then he knocks on a large container next to the net. We'll pour the stew of rotten meat over the whole thing. Uh, I was wondering what the cart's cargo was, so that's what's in there. A good thing that didn't sp spill the journey up here. Yikes. Seems like rotten, rotting meat's their favorite. If all goes as planned, it'll little gear you to the area. Once they step into the net, it'll tangle their legs and immobilize them. So they're going to use a trap to eliminate them, but... 
No, 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 that's not going to work. Do those monsters will tear through that flimsy net like it's nothing. Yeah, my, Haku is just kind of like, uh, you guys sure this is gonna work? The last one I saw was pretty strong. Then Mummer will hit him with a big one, and we'll be stationed at the pyramids to catch any stragglers. Those Giri are no match for us. U Ukon grins and his company lets out a collective laugh. Is it really going to be that simple? Is that net strong enough? I don't think those creatures are going to be taken be taken care of that easily. So anxious, Haku? Oh, well, just can't help but think the trap should be sturdier, among other stuff. Stop being such a worry word. Even if they're on the bigger side for Giga, it should be just fine. You say that, but I'm having a vision of everything collapsing and our party scattering. Come on, kid. You don't gotta worry about that stuff. Relax a little. Yeah, we've done inspiration jobs like this before. Giga aren't a big deal. See? Don't worry so much. He's right about one thing, though. That's not because nobody let your guard down. Our our guy, I feel like this is about to go wrong, like so wrong, because we we have PTSD from from that last one there, because we it was freaking huge, it was freaking super huge, and it was just like y'all can take down that those big motherfuckers by yourselves. You sure? This is this is gonna blow up in everyone's face, and, he, and it really is. If it doesn't, I'm be, I'm I'm I would be surprised if it just goes smoothly. Ukon doing oh, I said his name like somebody was speaking to him. My bad. And don't even think about getting her own perfect just so you can get treated by Missy here. I catch anyone doing that, I'm having your pay. Oops, caught us red-handed. Ha <laughs> ha The sound of jovial laughter rings through the clearing. I cast snatches of conversation about how being treated by Kuan would make it worth the pay hit. Kuan smiles vaguely, but she seems troubled more than anything else. She's like, uh, maybe I should have thought more about this. Everyone's calm, composed, even relaxed. I guess the Giri really aren't so big a problem. If that's the case, these guys' physical abilities must be beyond belief. God, I'm starting to understand what Kuan meant when she said she was word I just died by the roadside left to my own devices out there. Is something wrong? It's nothing. Haku, are you nervous? No, not really. I'm lying of course, just the memory of the Giri Giri is enough to make me shudder in fear. It's not like these guys, for me, it'd be stranger not to be nervous going up against that beast. Ooh, so nice. Haku, Kuan smiles at me. Hmm? You don't have to be like them, you know? Hmm? You have other talents that you should be proud of. Am I wrong? You think so? Hmm, I do. Kuan smiles, relieves believe, my words for some reason. Guess you're right. Besides, with luck like you- Oh, besides, with luck like yours, you might die by the roadside someday, but you'll survive a scrap or two before then. Good God, just- n <laughs> Have, she has no confidence in our survival skills at all. Hey now, I must have looked pretty worried for her to have cracked a joke like that. I guess she's right though, I don't have to be like those guys so I shouldn't waste time worrying. If the gap between me and the others is so dramatic, I'm not sure I, I care that much anymore. <laughs> what, is there something on my face? Oh no, I just, you seem to be feeling better. I think you'll be just fine. Oh right, I was going to give this to you. Kuan proffers a slender object. A fan? What's this? A metal fan. Is that thing they call a tensin? Even though it's made of metal, I can tell the grip's been worn down from long use. I'd rather you have a weapon to defend yourself with, so go ahead and use that if you get concerned. I appreciate it, but this looks like an heirloom. Is this something precious to you? Even though it's been well used, it's 
also been well kept, polished, and buffered free of any rust. It's probably been maintained regularly. I'm only lending it to you. I want it back eventually, alright? Alright. Eventually, huh? I tightly clench Kuan's metal fan in my hand. It's my first time holding it, but somehow it feels like it fits in my palm with perfect comfort. And I can't help but wonder if those stains on the blade aren't rust, then. Ooh, blood? Maybe? I notice. Oh, the music changed. We might be going into battles, guy. Everyone in position? They should be coming soon. Sir! Murmur, you're all sobered up? Ah, oh, pray forgive my last master, Ukon. Witness thou my constance and no more moves, Stenich. Renewed. Behold my opponents, my command over the mysterious Archon. I was convinced before, but are we really gonna be okay? I guess it's one with Giri Giri. Hey, Haku. Do you remember your favorite food? Huh? Your favorite food? Why all of a sudden? When we get back, I'll treat you to whatever favorite food is, okay? Oh, she's trying to make me feel better because she knows that how much I don't want to be here doing this right now. And we are literally like a nervous right now. She's like, you're doing such a good job and you barely complain, so I'm going to do something nice for you. This is literally what this is. So it's going to be all right. I don't get why that makes everything all right, but I guess she's trying to be thoughtful. I guess I mean myself look so pathetic. Hey you two, they're coming. Huh? Whoa, they're bigger than I expected. No! No! No, the one we went against was huge! It was freaking huge! That's why Haku was like, huh? He's like, that... That looks nothing like what we saw when, when we first woke up. The one we went through was massive! It was a giant! Yeah, he's looking at it like, there's no way that that's Gary Gary. No, no way. And even Ukon is like, oh, they're bigger than I thought they would be. And he's, we're looking at Ukon like, that's the biggest one you've ever seen? Dude, we faced up against even bigger ones like that. No, no, no. Those are small. Like, way too small. Yeesh. They sure are a lot of them. Watch out for the big one. Anyone who gets bitten by that isn't getting up easy, that's for sure. Wait. That's considered big, but it doesn't even hold a count to the one that I... They're falling for it. No, Murmur. Thou must place thy trust in me. Murmur steps forward, puffing his chest proudly, and begins to wiggle his body strangely. Unbuckle! I don't know what to say to all this. Hey, uh, Kuon? Is something the matter? What's he, uh, doing? That weird dance. Dance? Oh, you mean... Domantriguri? I don't know if I said that word right, but I probably didn't. I probably butchered it. Oh, but it's better known as Magecraft. Out there, out here, I think. Magecraft? They make signs with their bodies and fingers to channel power. This type is considered most potent for weak willed. I like thy words are as a blade between Mermoon's ribs. Savagely thrust, fair lady. That was pretty harsh, Missy. Come to think of it, what was it Maroon was supposed to do again? I wasn't paying attention. Wait, Magecraft? Like magic? There's no way he can just. What? 
Ha, <laughs> well done. The, the rest of friends, Alice, may be buried, so leave it unto you. This liver had sapped my spirit. Magic is real? Two arms, men. On me, let's clear the rest of these pests. Ah! Shall we go too? All right. Uh, there's so much information to unpack here, but I guess there's more important things first. Extermination. Defeat all enemies. All enemies defeated. Okay. Trophy earned, always prepared. Of course we are. Two arms! Uh, let's go for this one first since it's the closest. Level two. Um, she's gonna go for these guys. Ah, oh, never in her range, so. Oh, sorry, there's no way you got me that fast. Ooh, don't forget Alright. Why, you move again? I think I'm back, so... Give me Wait, didn't let me move the freaking guy? Okay, now it does. Why would I attack rocks? Why would I do this? Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm gonna look for my guy, just come up here. Oh, she's gonna attack twice? Oh, that's some bull. Can she, like, heal? I'm running away to them. I was talking to you better than anyone. And I'm like, walk away. Like, divine will. Oh, wait, I missed again? Nice. I knew someone could heal. They had to. I just wonder why she can't hear herself. Because that sucks.
right, guys, we're going to have to end the video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this mid-battle because I don't know if, this, if there's going to be more coming or that was the end of the battle, but I'm going to assume it's the end of the battle. So if you guys want to see what happens next, then please don't, uh, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up or subscribe to the channel for more. Bye. I'll see you later.